This is problem number eight from the June 2014 Algebra Regents exam. This one's fairly straightforward. We need to find out which equation has the same solution as this one. Now, we can see that these have been, um, that the equation's basically been rewritten in a vertex form, just a slightly modified version of the vertex form. So what we're gonna do is actually um, complete the square. And by doing that, we'll get it into this kind of format that we're looking for. Now to complete the square, we're going to take our uh, b value, which is negative 6. We'll uh, find half of it and square it. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. And what we're going to do with that is both add and subtract 9, just like so. And we did that so that we can take this section, a perfect square trinomial, and factor it. It would become x minus 3 squared. And then we can combine this minus 9 and minus 12 together to get minus 21. And then, of course, this is all still equal to 0. And what they've done over here is they've moved the 21 over to the other side of the equation. So we'd get x minus 3 squared equals 21. And we can see that matches solution number 2. And, um, yeah, and that's all for this video. And by the way, you could also... Uh, check your answer by working backwards, right? We could um, take x minus 3 squared um, and have that minus 21 there and see if we end up going back to the exact same thing. Well, actually, in fact, I'll just show you really quickly. You'd get x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 21. Oops, not 20, minus 21. And then this is the same thing as x squared minus 6x uh, minus... 12. And you can see that that is proof that we did get the correct answer because it matches the original question. All right, hope that made sense. And uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.